Thank you for joining us on the news update right here on Housing TV Africa. I am Mimana Bagudu. Let's take a quick look at the headlines. Tinumbu calls on Qatari investors to report bribery demands from Nigerian officials. Lagos government gives four-day notice for squatters to vacate illegal shanties. Wax Minister states commitment to speedy quality road infrastructure delivery and on the foreign scene Egypt Zimbabwe discuss activation of MOUs on affordable housing smart cities. Now the news in detail. President Bola Chinumbo has urged Qatari investors to consider bringing their investments to Nigeria, emphasizing the importance of reporting any bribery demands from Nigerian officials. Chinumbo reiterated his administration's commitment to combating corruption and fostering a conducive business environment while addressing Qatari investors during the Nigerian Qatar Business and Investment Forum in Doha. In a statement released on Sunday, the president reassured the international business community of Nigerians' readiness for serious business, pledging to eliminate all obstacles hindering profitable and legitimate enterprises. He specifically urged Qatar's industrial leaders to report any instances of bribery or undue influence from government officials, offering them direct access to his office for assistance. He emphasized the necessity of transparency and integrity in business dealings, highlighting ongoing reforms and upgrades within Nigerian systems, expressing confidence in the country's potential as Africa's largest economy. The Lagos State Government has announced its collaboration with the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners NITP, to enhance the capacity development of town planning officers within its rank. During a recent courtesy visit to the Ministry by NITP Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Dr. Oluyinka Olumide emphasized the government's commitment to staff training as a means to boost performance and propel the state's development. He stressed the importance of investing in human capital to meet the demands of a 21st century leaguers, highlighting the necessity for modern planning tools and adaptive approaches. NITP's National President Town Planner Nathaniel Atebije acknowledged the state government's efforts in sustaining the built environment and emphasized the Institute's readiness to support the ministry's training needs. Atebije also advocated for the recruitment of more town planners and related professionals to enhance the implementation of development plans. The collaboration between the Lagos State Government and NITP is a strategic move to enhance the skills and knowledge base of town planning officers, thereby ensuring their readiness to address the evolving urban challenges facing the state. Minister of Works David Umahi has reaffirmed the federal government's commitment to ensuring the speedy and high-quality delivery of road infrastructure projects across Nigeria. In a press release from the Office of the Minister of Works, Umahi expressed satisfaction with the progress made by contractors during an inspection visit to various project sites, including the Enugu Port Harcourt Dual Carriageway and the East-West Road. The minister announced the revocation of warning letters issued for delays in mobilization, commending contractors for their dedication and emphasizing the importance of timely completion and value for money in project execution. While inspecting the rehabilitation and reconstruction of key road sections, in Abia, Rivers and Inugu states, Omahi praised the work done by some contractors and commended their efforts, assuring them of the government's support in delivery quality infrastructure. Contractors in turn affirmed their commitment to the minister's vision for improved road infrastructure, pledging to uphold standards and expedite project delivery to meet national development goals. You're watching news updates on Housing TV Africa. We'll bring you more stories after the break.
thank you AIHS for the opportunity of this exhibition. It was a nice uh, experience. I would like to uh, make it again. Thank you AIHS. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone. Thank you AIHS. Thank you AIHS. To know you're still there welcome back from the break still on the news updates the Lagos state government has taken proactive measures to address the proliferation of unauthorized shanties along coastal roads in the Mayegun and Lekki areas in an effort to reclaim these areas and ensure safety and order the government has issued a four-day notice to all squatters residing in these illegal structures Tokumba Wahab, the Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, announced this decision following an inspection tour to various affected locations, including Jakandi, Elegoshi, Itede, System 156 and 44 on Orchid Road. Wahab stated that the directive requires all squatters living near the regional road alignment to vacate the premises by Thursday afternoon. Enforcement of the relocation notice is set to begin in the early hours of Friday morning. The state government has underscored the importance of this action in response to the unchecked expansion of shanties and illegal constructions, expressing concerns about safety, environmental degradation and adherence to urban planning regulations. Nigeria may be itching closer to peace after years of battling terrorism thanks to the innovative efforts of UK-based Nigerian Yunusa Jibrin, leveraging artificial intelligence. Jibrin claims to have developed a system capable of identifying bandits and their hideouts across the country. If adopted by the federal government, his findings could significantly boost military efforts to locate and neutralize banditry threats. Jibrin, a master's degree graduate in computer science from the University of Sussex, explained that he utilized AI-driven image sentences to create visual representations of bandits in desert environments. Speaking to newsmen, he highlighted the impressive accuracy of his research achieved through the use of a vision transformer model to detect terrorist elements. Emphasizing the urgency of combating terrorism with technology, Jibril expressed his readiness to collaborate with the federal government in addressing insecurity, which has embedded the country's development. And lastly, on the news updates, moving on on the foreign scene, in a bid to boost cooperation in the areas of agriculture and agricultural industrialization projects, the ambassador to Harare, Mahmoud Amir, recently met with the vice president of Zimbabwe, Kastatino Chiwinga, to discuss the activation of the MOU signed between the two countries in affordable housing and among Egypt's new administrative capital and Zim Cyber City in Zimbabwe's Mount. Hampton. Previously, Egypt's President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi met with President of Zimbabwe, Emerson Mnagawa, in November 2023 to discuss and come to an agreement on the necessity to boost cooperation in the areas of agriculture and agricultural industrialization projects and to leverage livestock and fisheries resources with the aim of maximizing the added value and ensuring food security for both countries. The two presidents also agreed to strengthen cooperation in the various infrastructure sectors which shall provide joint development opportunities. With that story, we have come to the end of the news update. Before we call it a wrap, here is a recap of the major stories. President Tinumbu has urged Qatari investors to report bribery demands from Nigerian officials. Lagos government has given four-day notice for squatters to vacate illegal shanties in Lekki coastal roads. 
Works Minister David Omahi has stated federal government's commitment to speedy quality road infrastructure delivery and on the foreign scene, Egypt, Zimbabwe have discussed activation of MOUs on affordable housing, smart cities. For more news in the housing sector, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Housing TV Africa. You can also follow all our social media platforms at Housing TV Africa. I am Yemen Abagodu. Thanks for watching.